snow so pretty and yet such a pain in the rear end all at the same time. So how does snow form? I'm Stormship Meteorologist Jason Myers and it's through something called the Bergeron process. No, not that Bergeron, the Swedish meteorologist. Clouds are made up of super cooled water droplets. These water droplets are colder than freezing because pure water doesn't actually freeze until minus 40 or until it has something to latch onto like dust or dirt. In the clouds, those little bits of dust and dirt are called ice nuclei. The water freezes onto these particles and forms ice crystals. These ice crystals continue to bump into more super cooled water droplets. As these fledgling ice crystals continue to grow, full blown snowflakes are eventually formed. This process is called accretion. The size and structure of these snowflakes has everything to do with the temperature and humidity in which these flakes formed. But you may notice all of them are at least hexagonal, six sided. This has to do with the atomic structure of water, the two hydrogen atoms and the single oxygen. Eventually, the snowflakes become too large to remain suspended in the cloud and they fall to the earth. If enough of these delicate six-sided crystals fall to the earth, it can be enough to break your back while you're shoveling the driveway or build a snowman. It's all how you look at it. Thanks for watching. Please like the video and subscribe to the channel.